All right, so in this problem, we have to determine whether this, this sequence converges or diverges and find the limit if it does converge. So the idea here to, in order to do this problem is to recognize that this piece here is going to go to zero. And the way you know that is because this is a number, 0.1, between zero and one. So whenever you have um, a number between zero and one and it's being raised to the nth power, it's gonna get smaller and smaller and smaller. Like let's say you had one half to the n. So if you plug in one, you get one half. If you plug in two, you get one half times one half, so you get one fourth. Plug in three, you get one eighth, et cetera. So this approaches zero as n goes to infinity. Same thing in this problem. Point one is really like one tenth. So you have one tenth to the n. And so if you plug in one, you'll get one tenth. Plug in two, you'll get one over 10 times 10. So one over 100, then one over 1,000. And so you see that this gets closer and closer to zero. So this approaches zero as n goes to infinity. You might say, oh, so the answer is zero. No, that would be super wrong, right? You have a minus one. So when you take the limit here, let me go ahead and write it down so you see it, of 0.1 to the n minus one, when you take this limit here, put a bracket there to make it look fancy. You drop the limit sign, so you get zero minus one, so you just get minus one. So typically problems like this, uh, you know, you never have to show work on stuff like this, uh, unless you're taking like, um, you know, a proof-based math class, in which case you'd have to prove it. But most of the time, uh, when you see problems like this, if you're taking like a regular calculus class, you pretty much look at it and you see, oh, okay, this is a number between zero and one. This is being raised to the nth power, so the limit is one. If instead, let's just say instead it was like the limit as n goes to infinity of three to the n, well, that would be three, three squared, three cubed. If this gets bigger and bigger and bigger, this would be infinity. So in this case, you would have divergence. But in our case here though, since we got an answer, the answer would be converges. So yeah, so the main thing you should take away from this problem is that whenever you have a number between zero and one, and it's being raised to the nth power, uh, that limit will always be zero. That's it.